Because I just want to stick with the tech theme here because we want to talk about a business now. Some would say struggling to maybe re-establish its old dominance in new media. Founded in 1985 as America Online, the company shot to prominence in the early days of the internet. Its gateway services helped it pull in some 30 million subscribers by the turn of the millennium. Its position at the forefront of the industry led to $124 billion mega merger with Time Warner in 2000. But uh, from the record merger flowed unprecedented losses. Shareholders were left badly out of pocket when the two companies went their separate ways. That was at the end of 2009. Since then, AOL has been looking at building a new online empire. Last year, it acquired the TechCrunch blog and web video group Five Men Media. It started 2011 pretty much the same way, buying the Huffington Post news blog for a cool $315 million. So AOL chief executive Tim Armstrong has repeatedly warned that the turnaround will take time. The company is struggling to find a run of good form with shares currently trading around 30% below last year's peak. So Jeff Levick is the man in charge of finding that sustained revenue growth, a former VP of development and marketing at Google. He's been AOL's global advertising presence since 2009. I'm pleased to say he joins me right here in the studio. Good to see you. Thanks Good very same. much. Thank you. Thanks very much for coming in. So a great deal of pressure on now to really turn things around. Your CEO has said, listen, it's not going to be a one-year turnaround story, but yep. you're the man in charge of the part of the business that's really going to become more and more important going ahead. Yep. So what are we, how long is it going to take? Well, I think, I think it's uh, going to take as long as we said it's going to take, which is it was, uh, as, as your setup uh, put forward, it's been a long ride for AOL. It's a, change, it's a changing time for the business. We've got a, uh, a, a model that we're focused on, focused on premium content, focused on consumer growth. And, uh, you know, as we've messaged, messaged to the street, um, you know, we're, we're well, ahead, well in the middle of a turnaround or a comeback, if you will, for AOL. AOL's acquisition of Huffington Post raised some eyebrows amongst those in the media and the advertising businesses. Do you fear that it might put off some advertisers who might be wary of such a strong politically opinion yeah. site? No, I don't think so. Huffington Post is actually a, is a great acquisition for us in the sense that uh, it's all, it, it, it represents one of the best uh, new media companies on the web. It's one of the fastest growing businesses online, uh, both, both in revenues as well as uh, UVs, uh, 28 million UVs strong, growing globally, and we're thrilled to have it uh, join our uh, portfolio and uh, be a big part of our uh, publishing strategy going forward. But how much of a risk could this be for AOL, which has thus far been apolitical, nonpartisan? Well, Huffington Post isn't a political uh, site. Huffington Post is all about uh, producing and distributing high-quality premium content on a daily Left basis. Left-leaning? What's that? Left-leaning? Uh, I don't think so. You know, I, I, if, you, if you asked Ariana, her, uh, her view would say that she is more about uh, talking about the truth, more about uh, taking sides. So I guess the, d the idea for you is to bring in new revenue from Huffington Post millions of readers, right? Well, I think that uh, obviously having that many uh, new users, new, new consumers join our arsenal is a, is a great opportunity for us. It's fast growing, it's great content, great experiences, uh, and it's a place that advertisers, uh, I should say it's a group that advertisers are looking to reach. And how difficult is it going to be for you because ad sales are down for you guys, right? Search ads have been in decline as well at a time when the overall market is booming? Well, it's a changing time for AOL, right? I mean, we're, we're looking at uh, a new business line. We're, uh, we're bringing in new consumers. And we're really focused on uh, high quality, premium experiences, premium advertisers, premium brands. And uh, that's what we've been doing, is focused on better experiences for consumers. So who, who are you targeting? Uh, in terms of? Advertisers. Uh, we're looking for the best advertisers in the world. We're, we're all about premium experiences for consumers, for brands, and really the top advertisers in the world, in the world are, are joining us uh, in, this, uh, in this journey. But how difficult is it going to be to change the way advertisers and consumers see the brand? Um, you know, I think advertisers will go where consumers are engaged. And what we're focused on is the experience for consumers. And we're focused on producing great uh, quality experiences on a daily basis. Huffington Post is a great example of uh, our commitment to that. And when we have great quality content, uh, we know the advertisers come with that. Now, you managed to disentangle yourself from the merger with Time Warner in 2009 bit of a history there of troublesome uh, acquisitions, shall we say. What do you say to investors who are perhaps skeptical that the deal will help AOL 
pull off its turnaround? Well, I think that our investors are with us for the long term. They see that we are very, very focused on our strategy. We haven't changed that since we spun out from Time Warner. Uh, we're focused, again, on high, high quality premium experiences for consumers. We focus on that. Uh, we, we build that every single day. Every acquisition we've made has uh, been another uh, step in the right direction. I think uh, our, our investors are patient and they know exactly where we're going and they're with us uh, step by step. Okay, well, thank you very much, Jeff Levitt, President of Global Advertising for AOL. Good to talk to you. Thanks.